12 months not playing football, you don't feel like a professional anymore. As a football fan, you maybe think, how is that even possible that a player gets injured all the time? What is he not professional enough? Is, what is he doing wrong? Surely you could see the best specialists or whatever, but sometimes there is no definite answer to that. And that's just how, how things work in life. I'm Peter Hagen and I play football for Heart of Midlothian. When you're younger, you always like dream a lot about your future and where you want to end up playing and stuff. But the reality is I would have never thought I'm going to be at Hearts one day and, and play in front of such a big crowd every weekend and play at Parkhead, play at Ibrox or Hampden as well. Those are the games you want to be involved in. Cup final was a really, really special day for me and my family as well. Cause they were all, they all came over um, to watch the game. I felt that day I, I was 100% fit, and even the the week before when we prepared for the game, I felt I felt really good. Second half, I started feeling a little bit sore. I remember a moment where I made like a sharp movement, and I got like a sharp pain in my abdominals. It was obviously the last day of the season. I felt um, I've got a preseason now to get myself fit. And after a few days, I just got sore again. I saw a lot of people. A lot of people told me what they think might help, but there was no definite answer to my situation. And I didn't really know what to do next. As time went on and I trained with the team, the pain didn't get any better, it got worse. I tried everything uh, I could imagine to, yeah, to make it better again, but there was just like no, no light at the end of the tunnel at that time. I felt a little bit hopeless and I was in a position where uh, no matter what I did, I knew I'm not gonna, I can't help the team. The longer I've been injured, the, the less I felt involved. It's just really hard to, to come in and watch everyone um, enjoying the training sessions and you just sitting around and not doing a lot. Was just, I wasn't in a really good place. Um, physically and mentally as well. I didn't really want to talk to to anyone. I just uh, maybe keep things for myself, which frustrates maybe my family because they want to be supportive and want to help. I always felt that I'll be back on the pitch and play football again. For me, it was just a question of time. My latest surgery I had in June and then coming back here to, um, to Edinburgh again and so I'm working with the physios here. I just had like a really much better feeling. It was just different this time. Football seems to be so important for so many people. I've been going through for a time where, where I just missed it so much. Even if you're a professional, you dream about the same things you dreamed of as you were a kid. Once you step back on the pitch and start playing games, you just like, you know, that's what you're here for. For me, it would have been um, even more special if the situation would be different with, with crowds in the stadiums and stuff. Last week when we drove to a game and I was driving past the streets outside, normally on a normal day you would see people walking around busy streets, everyone wearing the scarves and stuff. And I was going through the game and I thought like, you really, really miss that. I reckon everyone just really misses that special feeling of a game day when, when the stadium is just full. Yeah.